Hello my friend, uh, I am so glad that you clicked on this video today. Uh, today I want to talk to you about something that has been on my heart lately. Something I believe we all need more often in our lives, especially in this busy, chaotic world. And that is some quiet time with God. If you ever felt distant from God, if you felt like the noise of life is drowning out his voice, uh, or you're just searching for a deeper connection with of him uh, this time is for you my friend quiet time with God is such a powerful way to recharge your spirit hear his voice and uh, draw closer to him in ways that can transform your life today I'm going to walk you through how to create that you know scared quiet time and how to make it meaningful part of your daily routine no matter where you are on your faith journey this practice will help you feel God's presence in a much, much deeper way. So without further ado, let's dive into this video topic. Let's start with the first step and that is setting aside intentional time. I know it's hard with all of the distractions around us, our schedules, phones, responsibilities, but when you make a deliberate choice to, you know, crave out a moment in your day just for God, uh, you're making room for him to speak to your heart. It doesn't have to be a long one too, maybe just 10 or 15 minutes to start with, but it has to be intentional. This is the time that's just, you know, for you and God, a time where you you can you can be still, reflect, and listen. So when you can fit that quiet time in your day, for some people it might be the first thing in the morning before the world wakes up. For others, it's at night after the day has settled and has gotten quiet. The key here is consistency. When you show up consistency, you start to notice how God begins to show up for you in deeper ways too. Now let's talk about the second step and that is finding a quiet place. This can be anywhere that feels peaceful to you. Maybe it's a cozy corner in your home, a spot in the park, or even just sitting quietly in your car. The important thing here is to find that place where you can escape the noise and the distractions in this world. A place where you can just focus on your heart and mind on God. When you enter that quiet place, let it be sanctuary uh, for your soul. Imagine God is already waiting for you there, uh, ready to meet you. Uh, it's a scarce place where you can be fully present uh, fully open to you know whatever god wants to share with you that day next we come to the heart of your quiet time open your heart and prayer prayer is your you know direct line to god ultimately you know your chance to speak to him and more importantly to listen to him you don't have to have the perfect words you don't need to follow a specific formula god just wants you know to hear from you your heart uh, your thoughts your fears and your gratitude start by simply talking to god tell him what's on your mind what's weighing your shoulders down you know thank him for you know his blessings in your life and then you know just take a moment to just listen sometimes the most powerful part of prayer is you know the quiet afterward when you let god's peace and presence fill the space remember prayer isn't just a monologue it's a, a uh, conversation and when you take the time to listen you will be amazed at how god speaks uh, to your heart in the stillness he will remind you that you're never alone and he's guiding you in every step of the way my friend Another beautiful part in your quiet time with God is in the fourth step, reading his words. The Bible is God's love letter to us, ultimately, you know, filled with wisdom, 
comfort and guidance uh, when you open his world you're opening your heart to hear directly from him start with a first or passage that resonates with you maybe something like in slams if you need encouragement or the gospels if you want to learn about the life of jesus you don't have to rush it too you know just take your time and meditate on what you're reading ask god to reveal his truth to you through the words to show what he wants you to understand in that moment this time in scripture will deepen your connection with God because his words is alive and active. It speaks to us in our specific situations, no matter where we are in life. And when you make it a habit to dive into the Bible during your quiet time, you'll find that, you know, your, that your spirit is like nothing else. Lastly, after you've prayed and read the word, just take a moment to reflect and be still this is your time to sit in god's presence to let everything you've you know heard read and prayed over just sink deep into your heart so often we rush through our day and even through our spiritual practices without allowing time to you know for reflection uh, but in the stillness god can bring clarity peace and insight this is where the transformation starts to truly happen maybe you feel you know a deep sense of peace or maybe god will gently bring something to your attention uh, maybe an area of your life that needs the healing a relationship that needs you know mending or a direction he wants you to take uh in the, in the quiet you'll be able to hear his whispers more and more clearly and remember sometimes it's not what god says but simply about being in his presence knowing that you've spent time with your creator uh you know resting in his love and peace is enough that is simply enough to carry you through even the toughest days of your life so here are my final thoughts of the five simple steps to help you cultivate a meaningful quiet time of god set aside that intentional time find your you know quiet place open your heart in prayer read his word and then reflect in stillness these moments of god will transform you they will give you the strength clarity and peace that you will find anywhere else and the beauty of the quiet time of God is that it's not just a one-time thing. It's a practice that would deepen your relationship with him over time. Uh, the more you make space for him in your day, the more you'll feel his presence, his guidance, and his love i encourage you friend to start today whether you've been you know spending quiet time of god for years or you're just starting out right now god is waiting to meet you he's ready to pour his peace love and wisdom into your life all you need to do is just simply show up for him thank you so much and god bless you for taking a few moments out of your day checking out this video hopefully if this video encouraged you feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe also the comments are there to continue the conversation whether for feedback input advice or any suggestions on future topics you will love for me to talk about i'm more happy to read listen and respond i am adam representing team sos in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night love you all god bless you all stay safe i'm signing off peace